For all the outrage in America, the demonstrations and fury aimed at those pushing to restrict access to abortions in this country, a reminder, it's not just Americans who are paying close attention. In faraway Nairobi, fears the U.S. Supreme Court ruling will ripple into that part of the world abound. Extremely worried. Stephanie Musho is a human rights lawyer in the Kenyan capital who has long fought for increased abortion rights in her country. She worries the influence of America's new positioning on this will now embolden abortion opponents in Kenya. America is arguably one of the most powerful um, countries in the world. And, you know, to see that in 2022, women and girls still have to, you know, fight this battle um, is, is quite disheartening. Um, and, and the thought of what that would mean uh, for women like me here is, is quite worrying. The threats to abortion access in America have indeed been watched with caution by abortion activists worldwide. Even though the U.S. is increasingly seen as an outlier, moving in the opposite direction than so many other countries. Canada is a world leader in access to abortions. But consider, too, Ireland. Once home to some of the toughest abortion restrictions in the world, it legalized them in 2019. In 2020, Argentina did likewise. In 2021, Mexico decriminalized abortions. And after public pressure in Colombia, that country decriminalized abortions up to 24 weeks this past February. One of the leaders of the pressure campaign in Colombia was Catalina Martinez Corral. We have the most progressive uh, law framework of the whole region. She has confidence in her country's new position on this, but she too worries abortion opponents there may be energized by what's playing out in America. What I am afraid of is about the public conversation, how anti-rights groups are going to take this uh, that is happening in the United States and are going to um, um, create a sense that abortion is not a right. After all, though the U.S. is in the biggest spotlight, just last year in Poland, for example, came a new contentious near total ban on abortions highlighting for all the urgency in keeping up the battle. Women should be allowed to make decisions concerning their bodies without um, fear or without intimidation or without any interference. The underlying message to America from all sides, maybe U.S. leadership in such stuff is waning and the world is moving on or trying to. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Washington.